I would like to very briefly introduce uh, the multi-include project and the partnership because this is the first webinar and well even in the next ones probably there will be people who are newcomers so um, if the slide goes on we have to stop sharing and I don't know why it did not go on. Oh, okay. Uh, now I can probably share my screen. I'm sorry. So um, the partnership, the multi include partnership uh, consists of seven organizations. Um, the European School Heads Association that is hosting this webinar today is one of them. Um, the coordinator of the project is the University uh, the, of Applied Sciences in The Hague, the Netherlands. Um, we have an Italian partner called Discola, a knowledge innovation center from... <laughs> You're trying it? There you Did go. You for me? Okay. So a uh, knowledge innovation center um, from uh, Malta. Uh, Malmö University from Sweden, uh, the Kinderbüro, the Children's uh, Office of the University of Vienna, and ECHO, an expert organization on uh, diversity and inclusion. Uh, the project itself is a relatively simple one, um, or at least it's simple, it's simple to say. We are trying to explore and also exploit the good of good practices together. So we would like to collect as many um, good practices as, as possible um, in various areas of inclusion. We would also like to uh, build a community of practice where people who are passionate about inclusion can come together, share experiences, and learn from each other. Uh, and we would like to find what is the good of good practices. Uh, but the starting points for this project were that we believe that there are many initiatives. Uh, all over Europe, all over the world, uh, that has a proven uh, track record of success in inclusion. Uh, we also believe that uh, schools and other educational institutions would like to uh, raise their equity profiles. And of course, we believe that we can only do it together. So this is the reason why we are trying to build uh, this community of practice. Uh, in today's uh, webinar you're going to see four uh, good practices that were highlighted by the European School Heads Association. Uh, this is the rough planned agenda of the day and uh, what we're trying to show in this webinar today is that it's not only the usual suspects that we have to think about when we think about inclusion. When you say inclusion in school uh, probably the first thing you will think about is inclusion of migrants, inclusion of people with disabilities, inclusion of um, minorities. So we highlighted very unusual uh, inclusion target groups. And uh, we would like to see what you think about uh, these initiatives. But first of all, we would like to see um, whether the people who are around this uh, vir virtual table are from similar or different areas of education. Uh, during the webinar, there will be some polls that will show on your screen. You can vote on them, you can give answers to them, and then we will see um, the results. The first one will be about the area where you are working in education. Can you show the first poll? Peter or Ivana was going to show it. Um. Great. So everybody on the call, you can actually see a poll in front of you and you can vote for a particular answer. So please do that now. Do the first one. Uh, 
I see no results coming in, to be honest. So I suggest we leave it for now and, and move on to the next one. It doesn't it doesn't let us sub let me oh. submit the answer. Oh, okay. Okay, okay let's let's go on. Let's let's go to the the second one. Um first of all